Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last part, we went through the Misty Cave and then traveled to the Village of Mist, where we lost Kane due to the world exploding. And in this part, we're going through Watery Pass to try and make our way to the Kingdom of Damsian so that we can visit the Antlion Cave and grab a sand ruby to heal Rosa with. Anyways, um, in between episodes, like I said, I uh, grinded for a little bit, and once this battle is over, I will, uh, I will show you how much progress I've made, but yeah, these are pikes. As you can see, they are fish, and they are particularly weak to thunder, or lit as as it's called in this game. But uh, not gonna be. I'm gonna I'm gonna be conserving my. <sighs> Never mind. Just, no. So I got Rydia up to level ten. She now has. Uh. Cure 1, which is cure, it heals somebody. Sight, which I think just displays the world map, it's rather useless. Hold, which uh, paralyzes an enemy. Ice 1, which is an ice attack. Lit 1, which is a lightning attack. Sleep, which puts an enemy to sleep. And Venom, which poisons an enemy. Uh, she still only has the one summon, which is Chalk. And, uh, let's, uh, let's see Lit 1 in action. That was rather underwhelming, but at least it killed the shells. Or, the evil shells, rather. Why won't- what, d die already, jeez. Silly water bug. Tricks are for kids. There we go. Thank you, Cecil. And you leveled up. That's even better. Cecil is now, I believe, level 14? Yes. So, across this bridge, we've got a uh, crazy old man over there. But more importantly, we have a tent. But I suppose we have to talk to Mr. Crazy Oldman. Hi, what's up? A wicked bard. Oh, yes, of course. How do you know his name, Cecil? Nobody in the town even mentioned it, I don't think. A huge monster. Alright, let's go. So, this is our new party member. He is Tella. He does not have a last name for some reason. I guess the developers were just too lazy to give him a last name. But, but uh, why? Why are you in the front row? I will need to take care of that ev eventually. But... Yeah, Tella also has black and white magic. He has Cure 2, which is... Okay, I guess Radio will just be badass and kill everything. Okay. To the back row with you. So, you have... He's got Cure 2, which is a stronger version of Cure 1, obviously. Charm, I believe, is Confuse, which means that enemies will attack each other or sometimes themselves. Blink is one of the best spells ever. Uh, it basically makes it so that you don't get a it basically makes it so that you dodge all physical attacks for a while. Heal is Asuna, which it just heals all status afflictions. Life 1 uh, brings a party member back to life with a small amount of HP remaining. It's basically like using a Phoenix down or a Life 1. Or, no, just a life in this game. And Exit is Teleport, which uh, transports you out of a dungeon of any kind. Uh, as for black magic, he has fire one, which is a fire attack, ice one and lit one we've already gone over. Stop is uh, a spell which just basically makes it so that an enemy doesn't do anything at all, ever. 
And Psyche. Uh, apparently Psyche doesn't cost anything. I th I believe Psyche is Osmos, which uh, drains MP from enemies, which is always nice, because <laughs> due to Tella's low MP cap of 90, uh, he will need all the MP he can get. And also, I just noticed that he is level 20. Wow. But yeah, Tella's gimmick other than being able to cast both classes of magic, is that he is old. And when he levels up, his stats, or at least some of his stats, will actually go down. So it might actually be best to not level him up very much. Not that you really have any control of that, short of killing him. But whatever. Um, what's, what's he got for equipment? Not much. Alright, he's got a staff, staff, and leather armor. Uh, we don't have any other equipment for him at the moment. I probably could have bought an iron ring over in Kaipo, and also a, a cap cap. But, whatever. I don't have the foresight for such things, and I didn't know what equipment he was going to be starting off with. Oh, there's an iron ring. Or an iron ring ring. Sorry. So, we'll equip that onto him. And, hi. Oh, at least there's a new enemy. This, these are cave toads. They are toads. I believe they are weak to lit. But I could be wrong on that. It, it might be ice. But regardless, I'm just gonna have Cecil stab everything. Just so that I can conserve MP for Rydia and Tella. Because these guys, they're, they're not really worth too much attention. Neither are the other things in this place, really, but I just sometimes want to get through everything quickly because I'm impatient like that. Anyways, in this waterfall, we have question mark. And what does question mark contain? An elixir, which fully restores one party member's HP and MP. It's one of the most useful items in the game, and it is awesome. There's also a cure, too, and... A thousand gup. Must always overpronounce the P on gup. But yeah, moving on from there. But I can forget. But I. Oh, it ran away. Okay, I guess that's cool. But anyways, I don't think there's anything else on the the bottom path. If there is, I will be sad, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's everything there. So, we can just move onward. And immediately run into more of these! Oh nice, Rydia leveled up and didn't learn anything. Whatever, I guess that's acceptable. So, here we are at Batoof. Come on now. I don't think there's anything special here. Pretty sure all the enemies are the same. Yep, we've got more pikes. Cool. But uh, we also got surprised, which means that the enemies will move before us, which is a little bit irritating, but it's not its not too, uh, not too bad to deal with, at least in the early stages of the game. just so long as they don't get constant critical hits. Whatever, let's just zap them all. Goodbye. Take that, everything. And a free Cure 1. Alright. I don't foresee myself needing to use that Cure 1, but it's nice to have anyway. Anyways, new enemy formation here. It's still just as easy as ever. You can just zap them all with Rydia or Tella if you so choose. I'm sad that Rydia is getting to move so much faster than Tella because I really want to show off how freaking powerful Tella can be. Cure one, cool. But I suppose I will be able to do so later. Uh, okay, that is. 
Down leads to progress. Ooh, ether, sweet. So, I, yeah. So moving right. I do. So if I can not get interrupted by three thousand enemies at a time, then we can just move onwards on into this. Why is there a door? All right. Well, I, I, I ah. Sweet. All right, thank you. So we get a free heal, I guess, because Tella had a spare tent with him that he didn't feel like putting into the inventory. But yeah, we've got a save point here, which uh, you can obviously save or use a tent if you so feel if 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 you feel if you feel the need to do so. Yes. Yeah, she's a magic user. She's like five, and she's already this awesome. Aw, yeah. Oh, so it's your fault, you bastard. We're not in as much of a hurry as you might think. Oh boy. Tentacles. I have nothing to say about those. And I guess we can move onward now. Let's go! So, moving along, we've got another chest over there. Hmm? Okay, so, what's over here? We've got the Ice Rod. Nice little upgrade for Rydia. Or Tella, but I'm, I'll be giving it to Rydia. Because, uh, Tella, you have a staff, which I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure the rod is significantly worse than the staff. And by significantly, I mean very slightly, because neither of them are particularly good physical attacking items. And for that matter, neither of them are particularly good physical attacking characters to begin with. So it doesn't really matter. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Well, uh, time to show Tella's magic, I guess. Kill everything with the lightning, both of you. Okay, that was a bit underwhelming, but whatever. There we go. That actually wasn't that much better than I than. Ugh. That wasn't even that wasn't even that much better than Rydia, unfortunately. Uh, let's try ice one on them. Because they don't seem to be weak to lit. Uh, or maybe they are, and they just have high magic defense. Whatevs. Just murder them. D die already, lord! This is taking far longer than it should. Oh, of course it's gonna run away now. Oh, I thought it was going to re- <laughs> You jackass. You ass jack. Uh, down here we've got more- more stuff scissors. Oh good, 200 gup. And a cure one. Because we don't have enough of those already. I'm sure they'll come in handy for the upcoming boss fight. Or possibly earlier. Or possibly later. You never know. I believe here... Okay. Oh, this... This is gonna be annoying. So these are zombies. Uh, Cecil's Dark Sword does jack shit to them. I believe... Uh, this is the first Final Fantasy game where healing zombies hurts them. It doesn't do very much, though, so that's... 
a bit annoying. However, they are weak to fire as well, so that's always nice. Uh, no, a d Rydia. Rydia, you silly. I did not mean for you to heal Cecil. Whatever, you can just fire everything. <laughs> All one of them. Wow, that did a lot. At least for this point in the game. So as you can see, you... One step! One step! Well, at least this gives me a chance to show off uh, attacked from behind. Basically, not only do all of the enemies move before you, but the rows are also swapped. But, uh, you can just... Come, come on. There we go. You can swap rows like that. And they'll ret blah, blah, blah. they will return to normal after the battle is over. Yay, they all died. I'm so happy for me. Any more ways, you might not be able to tell, but uh, you might be able to faintly see a hidden passage in here that is slightly lighter than the the blackness. Uh, just k frickin' Oh, Radio leveled up and learned Warp! Which I think is just a worse version of Exit. But anyways, uh, that section of the Secret Passage just kind of served as a shortcut. However, there's this other section, which leads to... a random encounter. Cecil gained a level, always nice. And... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have enough cure ones at this point. Please give me more of them, game. Okay. So we've here we've got a leather cap or a leather helmet. We will equip that to Rydia because it is slightly better than the one she currently has. And we can give the we can give hers to Tella. Be no, not to Cecil. We can give <laughs> this to Tella because I'm pretty sure he... Well, obviously he didn't have another cap. I just saw it. Eh, never mind. I, I don't make sense. Oh my lord. Zambies! So as you can see, Tella is the only one who can reliably hit these things. Because, for some reason, Rydia does not have fire. I wonder why that could be. But anyways... Uh, I forgot to mention this up until now, but other in other versions of the game... Uh, Tella has another ability called Recall. Uh, basically, Tella used to know every spell ever. But since he's really, really old, he's forgotten most of them. But if you use Recall, then he can occasionally remember one of them. And it usually doesn't work, or it sometimes doesn't work. But you can occasionally get a really good spell out of it. Way earlier than you uh, normally would be able to. But anyways, got a couple of ethers there, and four Cave Toads instead of three. Wow, such an improvement. Wait. Cecil, your attacks are normally supposed to kill the things. Uh, let's see if these if these things are weak to lit. Uh, they are not. Must be ice, then. Uh, ice. Yeah, let's just try out the thing. That would be a yes! All right, nicely done, Rydia. And up here, there's... Well, there's there's an exit. Oh, come on! Oh, man, we've got a bunch of new things. We've got tiny mages and water hags. 
which are basically just water elemental versions of the Sandmen. Uh, the Sandmen, for those curious, I believe they were weak to ice, but these ones are weak to lit, for obvious reasons. And as for the Tiny Mages, they are the first enemies so far that can actually cast magic of their own on us. Oh god! No, that is bad! I need those! Come on. Tella, hit the things already! Good boy. Okay, so the water hags are all gone. I do like how they keep using... <laughs> how they keep using Psych on Rydia. Ow. Despite the fact that she, I don't think, has any MP left. Oh, come on now. Um, let's heal Cecil so that he can actually hit things. Woot. I really wish heal didn't cost so many MP, but it's... it's fine. We'll survive. Just kill the frickin' 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 McFrackin' flackin' stuff. Um, you can, I guess, punch it in the face. Uh, how much MP do you have left? You still have 20, alright. Well, you can light them on fire, why not? Wow, even with only two of them, and with Tella attacking, they still... it still only does one damage. These things have insane magic defense, for this early in the game at least. You know what, that's actually fine. As long as you don't hold Cecil, I think we'll be good. So yeah, if it doesn't show the animation, that means that the spell didn't work. Oh, nice! Nicely done, Rydia! Got a critical hit, and we got a whole bunch of experience for that. I am okay with that. Alright, so just a couple more items. We get another heal, and a darkness sword. Nice upgrade for Cecil there. Obviously. Wow, a really nice upgrade for him. Come at me, tiny mages. I dare ya. So here we've got a short little section of nothingness, basically, where we can use a tent. Yay. So I'm pretty sure you're going to want to conserve as much MP as you can for this last section the last section of the dungeon. Whee! Who knew that jumping down a waterfall was such a fun idea? Ah! Oh man, we've got alligators. And, of course, water bugs. Oh, looks like alligators can attack twice. Wow, that did a lot! I mean, it was a critical, but still. Still a huge improvement over his old sword. Yeah, you stab those things, Cecil. Stab them good. Ow. And ow. Slight ow, I should probably clarify. I probably could be using magic, but I don't want to, because I want to conserve it all for the boss, because the boss is kind of a jackass, from what I can remember. It could be worse, but still. Alright, alligator is down. And... Wow. 
what was that, two steps? Maybe three? I wasn't really counting. Oh, Rydia gained a level and learned Toad! Toad is actually a really, really good spell. It turns an enemy into a Toad, basically. Which means that their... Ooh, Darkness Helm and Darkness Glove, sweet. Uh, their physical attack and physical defense all drop down to minuscule amounts, and they can no longer use magic. Uh, what am I doing? Equip! And, uh, gloves. Right, yes. Those are important. I'm assuming there's gonna be darkness armor and darkness shield eventually. Hello, double alligator action. Nicely done, Cecil. Um, I don't actually remember if there is uh, Darkness Shield and Darkness Armor. I'm pretty sure that there's... I seem to remember there being uh, the armor but not the shield. But I'm, I might be wrong on that. You never know. Okay. Easy battle is easy. And we have Lake. Cool. Have I mentioned how much I dislike fighting tiny mages? Because I really don't like fighting tiny mages. Anyways, here's Darkness Armor and an Aether. One of those is very useful. The other one is, well, mildly useful. Uh... Don't really want to waste MP, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, not yours, though. Yours is more important. So, let's do some healing. Uh, excuse me. Really? I can, I can only use it once, and then it just goes back to the menu. That's actually rather irritating. Come on, Squaresoft, I thought you were better than this. Okay, I just realized how stupid I was being with the whole using the frickin' Cure 1 spell, because I have a bunch of Cure 1 potions, so I don't know why I wasn't using those to heal my peeps, but whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Hey, guess what? I did that. Anyways. It's time. He's coming. That's what she said? Octomam! Not to be confused with Octomom. But yeah, this is... Th this is the Octomam. Uh, it is short for Octomammoth, and it is apparently weak to both darkness and lightning. I forgot, I forgot about it being weak to darkness, TBH. So, this is... Cecil's new sword is going to come in very handy. Not that his old sword wasn't also darkness element, but still. Anyways, as you can see, Octomam has lost one of its tentacles. Just randomly. And now it's lost another one because apparently we zapped it too many times. So, that that's basically an indicator of how far along you are on the fight, is how many tentacles he has left. Ow. I guess. Alright, four left. I was second-guessing myself there a little bit. I was like, wait, th that is four, right? Don't worry, I can count sometimes. So, I believe when he has three left, he'll start uh, hitting significantly harder. 
you know, except when he misses. Oh, apparently it's two. It's whenever Tella starts talking to you. He's slowing down. Well, that's probably because we hacked off all of his appendages. With lightning. That would probably be more painful than doing it with a sword. But I wouldn't know. I've never had any of my limbs removed, so I'm just going to stop talking about such things. Whatever, let's just finish him off. Come on, die faster. Sometime this week. For real? You're still surviving. Why do you do this? There we go. See, was that so hard? I actually thought that battle was going to be a lot harder than it actually was, but whatever. Cecil is now level 15? Oh. Okay, that's rather victorious fanfare. Uh, 16. Yay, I can count. Except apparently I can't. But anyways, over there... Wow, perspective changing. That's interesting. Oh my lord, why? Why do you do this? Alright, so that happened. Um, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, we're gonna go figure out what the fuck just happened. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.